Is it okra? Can we eat it tonight? Um, let's wait until we have Yeah, from day one, like just the best mother. I was terrified when we brought Ada home from the hospital. <laughs> Do you remember what I was doing? I was sobbing in her rocking chair. Yeah, I do. Because <laughs> I was so thankful I know. that we had gotten mm -hmm. there. But everything just comes so natural. Little things like <laughs> how much allergy medicine does she get? You even have to look at labels on things. You, you know exactly what to do, what they need. That's always just blown me away because <laughs> I don't <laughs> I, I just don't have a clue sometimes. We had our two lovely, wonderful girls whom we adore. And my heart was kind of like, one more. On January 5th, took took that test and there it was. Let's see, I was fishing. Mm -hmm. And you texted me, but then you said you were pregnant. And I knew it though, I could tell. Were you nervous at all? No, I don't think so. I didn't think it would take the turn that it did. And then on the on February 29th, a day that doesn't even is not even supposed to be on the calendar. Doesn't deserve a calendar day. <laughs> yeah. It was a rough day. We go in for it was supposed to be 12 weeks. And Prior to that appointment, I had this internal feeling that something was wrong. We had seen the baby's heart. Um, the doctor even told us, yeah, there's like a 1% chance of, of loss now. So I was having another ultrasound. And as soon as the picture came on the screen, I knew something was wrong. There was just this stillness on the screen. I just kind of gently, is, is the baby's heart beating? She said, I'm, I'm not finding one. I thought you handled this situation just as good as any mother possibly could. Because I'm not sure that there's anything worse. <laughs> Um, mother or father to to lose a child. Um, no matter when you lose them. Right. Yeah. But you were really quick to vocalize that that baby didn't have to choose Jesus. Father, we love you. Mm -hmm. We're so grateful for the peace that you've given us in this. We still don't understand why. We don't have to. Mm -hmm. We trust that your will is being done in our lives. And you've showed us time and time again that you know better what we need. Yeah. And we're so grateful because we know you will use this for your glory. Yes, Lord. So we love you, and we thank you for everything you do for us. Most of all, we thank you for sending your son to die on that cross for our sins so that we all that one day we'll get to hold that baby too. get our minds off of it, you know, to try to start to step forward. Because I told the Lord, I don't want to stay here. This isn't our story. This isn't it. <laughs> 
this sadness and grief is awful. It was awful. But I don't want to stay there. I don't have to stay sad because my baby is with Jesus. You know, those two, my earth living children, I want to be in his arms one day too in heaven. Now it's the joy of motherhood, of making sure that, that those two children will see a mom that is joyful, will see a mom that has the assurance that, yes, we, we lost, that we, we grieve, that we are, we have suffering. But that's not the end.